How's it going, guys? We're going to go ahead and take a look and review S-Set, or E-S-E-T. I don't know how people spell it. Nod32 Antivirus. Now, this is the essential security. I will post a link on the description of the video how to get here. But it's really easy. Just go to sset.com, go to download, and then get a free trial, free 30-day trial, and I'll take you to this page here. And right now, we're just reviewing the essential security part of it, guys. It's really simple. Um, it doesn't really have crap. If you could tell, um, it only has malware, ransomware, and phishing protection. We're going to work our way up and try advanced security, then premium security. But right now, we're just taking a look at their basic essential security. Now, this antivirus is not very user-friendly. I don't recommend it for uh, people that are uh, technically uh, uh, challenged a little bit. There is some other antivirus pro, uh, software that we have reviewed that's a lot better. But this is more for the savvy uh, technician, and you'll see why. So here on the very beginning, on the overview window here, we have um, if the green check mark here is green, it means you're good to go. It means you don't need an update or anything. Now it's really easy. You can update, scan computer, and only look at security report. And that's about it. All right. Um, this is a very simple, very basic antivirus, guys. Um, the computer scan, I'm going to go ahead and... I had it paused, but I'm going to go ahead and put it back on. But when you go to computer scan, there is really just one button. Scan your computer. That's it. <laughs> and then action after after the scan, you could tell it tell it shut down, which I'm not going to do that. I don't want it to shut down on us. Um, but you could tell it to sleep, hibernate, shut down, restart if needed, force restart. You can do all that after it's done, which is really cool. Not all antivirus programs uh, have this right off the bat right here. You can do an advanced scan, but like I said, you're going to have to manually go in there and select what you want to do. And there's only one scan here. There's no quick scan or full scan or smart scan. There's just one full scan. That's it. That's all you get here. If you go to the update here, it'll, it'll tell you if it needs any updating. Now, the tools that it has, it's really, really basic, really bare bones, guys. You can look at log files. Like I said, newbies are not going to be looking at log files. <laughs> running processes, we can look at the what's running. But like I said, uh, if you're not technically uh, savvy, you won't know what the heck all this, like, spools is for your printer. I mean, it's got the picture of the printer on there, but you don't want to be messing with this kind of stuff. All right. Uh, you can look at security report, you know, what, how much you scanned, uh, app, application scan, all that good stuff. You could schedule, and like I said, look, look how this looks. It doesn't look very user-friendly. <laughs> but you can right-click and then uh, run now or edit. You can edit it to whatever you want. That's just a schedule. Um, if you want to schedule a scan once a week and all that. Now it's got a system cleaner here. Um, it'll... I think it'll help you with Windows System Restore, is what it shows here. System Settings. Um, you can go ahead and hit that, but I'm not going to go ahead and hit it because I have everything where I want it. But if you want to clean that up, you can go ahead and hit that. And that's about it, guys. Um, if you go to Setup and Computer Protection, if you're a gamer, I recommend you come here before you start your game and click here on Gamer Mode. When you click that, it'll... Uh, um, optimize your performance and uh, help you get a little bit more on your game there. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, but that's about it, guys. That's all it has. I'm telling you, I've seen some free antivirus software apps, like they call them nowadays, that have a lot more stuff than this, and it's free, okay? So, like a Vera free antivirus has a lot more stuff. We reviewed that one yesterday. It has a lot more stuff, but if you were to buy it, Oh, man, I'm telling you, people are sometimes getting screwed over with these antivirus programs. It doesn't even tell me how much it is. Oh, there it is. One year, 40 bucks. Two years, 79. Three years, I think that's three years, 120. When it doesn't, you don't really get nothing. All you get is just antivirus. That's it. And a couple of tools. But these tools don't even do much, guys. I recommend you guys go with a free antivirus if you're looking for the basics, for the bare bones. A free antivirus like uh, the Vera that we tried was perfect. It had all kinds of uh, features on there like a disk cleanup, file shredder, password manager, all for free. So, yeah, I'm going to give I'm going to give this uh, two out of five stars, guys. 
So a set non-32 antivirus, I'm going to give it 2 out of 5 because why would somebody pay $40 just to have a just a antivirus? <laughs> uh, they should have this one for free. But anyway, um, like I said, that was just the essential that we just did right now. Uh, we will next do a review on advanced security and see what other stuff, uh, what other features it has. But the essential one, guys, it should be free. They shouldn't charge for it because it does what the free ones do. It literally does less than what the free ones do. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next asset tutorial video.